And this one is looks a little fancier, but it is still a very simple puppet to make. So I'm starting with a tube. Now for this you need, you have some choice of what you would like to use. If you have some straws, that works well. That's how I made uh, this one, but there's other options. What I what I used is two straws that bend and one straw that doesn't bend. Okay, I tape them together so they each stick out. So the ones, that, now we want this to stick up a little higher and this is, this is how you want it to be able to put it together. And then I already have some tape ripped off over here and I am just gonna fasten these together so they don't come apart, so they stay like that. And I would put two of these. So I'm gonna put one there and I'm gonna put another one a little bit lower. Okay, so that's one option. But if you don't have straws, you can still do this. I'm using cardboard with this one. And this is cardboard that was just cut. It was cut from a corner of this box. So any kind of box cardboard, cereal box cardboard will work just fine. Now, what I'm going to do here is I have to strengthen the cardboard a little bit. Because see, cardboard, if it's just like this, it's not very strong. But if you fold it, it gets a lot stronger. So I'm going to take this long strip of cardboard and I'm going to fold it right down the middle. And if it's not real straight, that's not a problem. So I'm gonna fold it over. There we go. Okay, now it's folded. And if you want to, if you wanna bend it a little, make a sharper crease, you can use like the handle of a scissors or a spoon might work well, like a wooden spoon, something like that. You can make the crease sharper. Okay. Now, see, it doesn't bend anymore. It's much stronger. So we're going to, I'm going to put a couple staples in it. If you don't have a stapler, you can use tape. Whatever you have, just to fold, fold it folds together. Okay. And now at one end, you need to bend it. I'm going to bend it. Uh, let's see how long. Yeah, right about here. Okay. So I'm going to bend it. So we have a little... A joint like this and we'll do the same thing with the other one the other one I already had bent the cardboard but I'll put a couple staples and like I said if you don't have a stapler just use tape that's fine okay so I've got two of these <clears throat> now you need one stick that's fairly sturdy for the middle you could use let's see from my other workshop a pencil if it's long enough but whatever you use, it, uh, you stick up, it just has to stick up farther than this, and then you can tape it all together. So this, I'll, I'll just try a pencil. Let's, let's experiment here and see. Now I'm gonna use some tape. And I'm gonna make sure that the pencil, you know what might be good is to tape the pencil onto one of the pieces of cardboard, like this, wrap it right around, and then, tape it onto both, so you do it twice. Okay, so you got the pencil and the cardboard. So the pencil is sticking up high, higher than the, the fold, okay? And then tape the other one on. And I think that way we'll be more sure that they'll stay together. And now this one's, the, the this is actually gonna be the arm or wing is going to go out at more or less the same place. And now, and now you can tape them together. Okay. There we go. So this is your basic skeleton of your character. Okay, so this is what you want is for you. These to come out each at a side. Now, for your tube, we're going to have to cut two holes in the tube. You want to cut them about an inch down, just so they're at the same point. It doesn't really matter, just not too, too far from the top, but not too close to the top because you, you want to make sure the hole can be strong. To cut the holes, you're going to squish the two just a little bit. See, I squished it a little bit, and then you can take your scissors and cut at a slant into it, okay? And then in another slant, that way. 
So you get a hole that's shaped like a triangle from the side. And then this is what it looks like when you look at the actual hole. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side, just at the same point. You're going to do this little bit. So a crosswise cut, and then a, make a triangle. Oops, there you go. Okay, so now we have a hole on each side. Now, the next thing we're going to do is take this. And you know what I'm going to do even is just to make this a little stronger and get one more piece of tape and tape it around the bottom because our pencil is shorter than our cardboard um, just to make it stronger. I'm going to put another piece of tape right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to put this inside the tube. Push it all the way down until the little ends of those two pieces are at the holes. And what you want is for those to come out of the holes. Okay, so then you push it back up. And the pencils, there we go. Pencils in the middle. And the cardboard comes out the hole. Oh, perfect. This works great. Now, you have made a little machine. Now, this, as it is now, you already have moving arms. All you have to do is move this part up and down, and the arms move. Just like my little bird. I put wings, paper wings, onto the, oh, I use straws that stick out, and I put a head on the top. That's just taped on. So you can make this into whatever you want. You, if you would like to make a bird, you can cut some wings out of paper and just tape or staple them on. If you would like to make some other kind of animal that moves its arms or dances, you can do that. So to, if you want, but whichever you do, double uh, make it so it's doubled because you want to flap the arms over it. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to fold this in four pieces. So here's my piece of paper. I'm going to fold it once and then I'm going to fold it this way. And now when I cut the wings, they'll come out the same. Okay, I'm going to cut wings like this. All right. Now I have go two of them okay and now these I can attach right here so I have a wing here and a wing here now we can tape these we can staple them um, you could even glue them you could put a little bit of glue on the top uh, since I'm doing this quickly to show you I'm gonna see about just stapling them and there we go and one over here. Now these are not stapled through the cardboard, so they could slip off. It's probably a good idea to put some glue on first. There we go. Okay, twist it around a little bit. Oh, it was definitely a good idea to put some glue on first. Okay. So we, you do need to glue them first, but you see, you see, definitely. So you know what I'll do? Let me put some tape on because I don't have time to let the glue dry as you will at home. I'm just gonna put some tape on it. I'll pull it out. See, I'm pulling it out a little bit and putting some tape on. There we go, that should work. See, I'm making it up as I go along, just like you are. So you, you are all problem solvers. And it's an excellent thing to be able to problem solve with all different kinds of materials. Okay, now I'm gonna slide this wing back on and put some tape on this side as well. And now hopefully the wings won't fall off. There we go. Now it's ready to fly, but it needs a head. So for your head, you can use, um, Oh, you know what? I just had an idea. This would be funny because I see something in this magazine. I hadn't even thought of this. How about if you made a flying dog? I just happened to see in this magazine there was a picture of a dog. Now that I have the dog's head cut out, I can just take a piece of tape and make a flying dog. Okay, make sure I have his head right side up, okay. 
put the tape here and put the dog's head right here. A flying dog, that is silly. Now you can decorate the rest of the, the tube. You can use markers to give you, fly, I don't know, flying dogs have fur or feathers. I really don't know. So that will be up to me to make that. But you can make whatever character you would like. It could be a bird head as well, but whatever you would like to. So now you have made your own flying puppet. And I look forward to making puppets with you again. Thank you. Bye-bye. And for teachers and parents, please look for my book, The Sophisticated Sock, Project-Based Learning Through Puppetry, sharing a wealth of classroom-developed ideas for inspired learning across the curriculum.